So I'm going to create a video of me simulating nylon to explain the chemistry involved. First we're going to start with a cup of water and a stirring stick at the bottom and it's going to be on a heating pad. After this we are going to add a diamine called hexamethadine and we're going to add it and it's going to dissolve in the water. Once it's dissolved we're going to also add sodium hydroxide to the solution to absorb the hydrogen chloride formed. Once these have dissolved and formed, we are going to add a diacid chloride, which is dissolved in the dischlorophenethane. After this is dissolved, we, this reaction is called an interfacial polycondensation. Once we do that, we are going to stir around the solution to help create the nylon, which you will see creating, and once that you can see here now the nylon is coming out and we're going to let it dry and it'll be the nylon that helps create the swimsuits. As you can see in this video, many but not all tech suits are made with legs to help create a more water resistant feel. The two most important ingredients in creating these suits are nylon and silver. The silver is most important when creating its water repelling characteristics. I would show you the process involved in creating silver, but that seemed to be something I should leave to the professionals. You can learn more about tech suits at chemistryislife.com.